I gotta do this ourselves, y'all, because it costs way too much money, all right, to get it done at um at at a shop, all right. Do you all close all care. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more maintenance, all right, doing some adjusting. So for the 52 inch, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll replace um the um le the left baffle, all right, and a little bracket. So a hey, um. It I gotta do this ourselves, y'all, because it costs way too much money, all right, to get it done at um at at a shop, all right, at your dealer, okay. I mean, you could do it yourself, all right. You just need um uh, just a couple of basic tools, all right. Like basically, with this to replace this baffle, you just need like a just like a, a, a socket set, y'all. All right, that's all you need, man. Some some wrenches, okay. The right the, the right size of wrenches. Go to Home Depot and Lowe's and get you like a, a basic set and you can repair this yourself. Hey, but check this out. So I, so I bought this mower used. Okay, hey, look, y'all, see, safe, hey, safety, all right? Make sure you have um, jacks, okay, when you, when you lift this, all right? I'm still using the jack stand, all right, as a secondary, but I got the, um, the jack stands as a primary means of safety, okay? So make sure you use jack stands, all right? Okay, but, um, so I bought this mower used with $200 on it. It's a bobcat 52 inch xrz pro rs it didn't have baffles okay so i bought the baffles myself and i put them on there but you have to walk the yards because if you don't you're gonna hit something and it's gonna bend a baffle and your more blades are gonna start hitting the baffles all right for example this one right here i did a couple of times okay this baffle right here all this right here y'all I had to get a, I bent, it hit a, it hit like a stump, it bent it, and I had a, I had an angle grind it, man, like, I had to cut off a piece because the more bait kept on hitting it, all right? I did it again, it was like a, a high growth lawn, I thought I saw everything, but I didn't, I hit, I hit like a piece of metal, and I bent it, I had to angle grind it more, you see how it's all like, just crooked, all right, because the blade, look at the blade. The blade was hitting it, but now it's not hitting it, okay? Because I had to angle grind it off. I had to, like, had to, like, make space with the angle grinder. I had to cut some off, okay? So I got tired of it. You know, I got to replace this, um, this, this, um, what do you call it, this baffle. So, bought a new, bought a new baffle over here. But the bracket, because the bracket right here got a little bit. All right, that bracket got bent. You see where it's kind of bent right here? It got bent, okay. So I'm gonna, you know, replace that bracket too. All right. Check it out. I'm good to go. So I'm gonna replace this and the bracket. All right. Hey, if you do this at, a, if you do this at your dealer, man, they're gonna charge you by the hour. Probably like fifty bucks an hour, okay. When you could do it yourself right here in your own, in front of your garage. All right. So I'm gonna do that. Over here. Over here with the 42 inch. Hey man, this 42 inch is awesome, okay? So, hello ma'am. So, this doesn't have a suspension seat. So I bought this suspension seat or an aftermarket for $125. It is awesome, y'all. Um, only bad thing about it is, um, I took off the sliders to make the, the seat go forward and backward, all right? So, it came really, because of that handle right there, you can't bring the seat all the way down, okay? If you force it down, you're gonna break off that handle. So I'm just gonna do an adjustment. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill, I'm gonna line, see, I only have the fronts bolted, okay? That's all I need is the fronts bolted. Hey, I've been using this, man. It's been like, all I need is, is the two fronts bolted to the seat, you know what I mean? But in order, in order to shift this back, also, y'all, because of these handles right here, I can't move it all the way back to my chest. I mean, all, all the way back. I had to like scoot up in order to go back, all right? Cause it stops right there. All right, so I had to scoot up just to move it back, all right? So that's why I gotta move the seat back. One for the, the little lever in the front so I could pull the, um, the seat all the way forward. We know if I have to like, you know, um, work on the belts. And also so I can move the handles all the way back. So I'm just gonna draw holes right here and a hole right here. I'm gonna shift it back to these holes right here. All right, and then that should work. All right, Bobcat, y'all.
Kawasaki engines. Okay, it's a, it's a good Mori, I love it. All right, the new Bobcats are white, all right? So I guess I'm old school now because I got the green Bobcats. All right, I'm gonna go and get to work, all right, before the sun goes down, um, and I'll show you the after, the, um, the after, the after pics, after video, all right? All right, later. All right, I got the, what do you call it, the, um, the other bracket, I took the old bracket off, and I put the new bracket on. See where it's like nice shiny green? That's a new bracket, y'all. But check this out. Look at this. This is the old baffle right here. Like how much I shaved off because I, I bent it and I had it like shaved off so I could give um so I'll give um um give for the blade to go through. So there's a new one right here. Alright, that's a trash can back there full of cans, but I'm gonna put this one on there. Old one, new one. All right, I'll show you how it looks after I put it on there. And you just need simple basic tools, y'all. And you can save like about $200 worth of um, labor labor fees from your dealer or from wherever you get it done at. All right, check later. All right, I got done, y'all. Check it out. There's a new baffle. That blade is barely... Barely, now it's not hitting it. Like by a, an like eighth of an inch, all right? An eighth of an inch is the um, placement for the ribbons above the um, top of the pocket job. You didn't know that for the Marine Corps. Anyway, I'm gonna take it down and let's just see how it, um, I'm gonna engage the blades and let's see if it, if it hits it, all right? Hey, new baffle right here, y'all. And here's the old baffle. Old baffle on the old bracket. All right, so um, let's take this down. I'm gonna turn it on and, and engage the blades. So the blade wasn't hitting the baffle, y'all. So, um, hey, guess I did a good job. All right, hey, save some money and do your own maintenance for for equipment, okay? If something's broken, um, YouTube, all right? I'm doing, look at my chum. Like, maybe you'll find it, okay? I, already, I did a video, like, how to switch out the blades, how to replace a filter, all right? Um, how, how to replace a hydro, the, um, the hydro fluid, all right, in the, um, in the mower. Haven't done oil change yet, though, but same thing as doing a, all changing the car um so hey that's a baffle right there y'all all right old baffle wait we're right here we go old baffle and a new baffle is inside uh, underneath the um the more now all right okay so let me work on this um 42 inch i'm gonna shift the seat back all right so here we go all right i just got done adjusting the seat so i moved the bolts from the front to back here i drew the holes on the base plate and so I could shift back here so they could fit in the in um the actual um, suspension plate. But you know what, y'all? Oh, and it, and it worked good. Okay, I was able to like to um put the handles all the way back without hitting my uh, my chest. But you know what? So these right here, these handlebars, I didn't even realize they they shift. Look at that. They shift. So I was able to to um just shift them more forward so I can have more um more more freedom between the bars of my chest when I go back. So hey, um, I hope you like this video. Um, remember, y'all use use your tools at home. Buy simple basic tools, okay? Harbor Freight. 
Um, I don't come to say about Harbor Freight. A tool's a tool. They may be cheap though, but they work. All right, they might not last as long as like those other expensive tools, but hey man, basic tools will save you lots of money on working on your own equipment, changing your blades, your um, your oil, your um, your 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 your, 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 your transactional fluid. All right, um, fixing a baffle, replacing a baffle, angle grinder for a simple fix. Just shave off some of the baffle so the blade won't hit it. Um, you can sharpen your own blades with uh with the angle grinder. Okay, um. You could do simple, hey look y'all, I had a, so this right here y'all, on the 52 inch, I had to change the um the ignition switch. This broke, all right? I ordered, I, I ordered one from the dealer, it was 20 bucks. See these right here? This screw, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt. Take them off with basic tools. And take off this right here, replace it. Bam, it was easy, okay? Hey, basic tools y'all. Hey, this tire right here, twice it got flat on the side okay it says not recommend to like um fix a flat or we have a, a flat on the side of the tire but a simple um tool kit like this right here y'all tire repair kit bam i fixed that one and then we got another one y'all right here okay same tool kit right there y'all fixed it hey i've been riding on i've already used like about 100 hours man on this tire right here okay both with 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 them with them plug like that. Yeah, I should replace this tire though, but it's still going, y'all. All right, with those two plugs right here and right here, right there. Hey, um, check the pressure on your tires. Um, don't don't just go off this. How much just piss? How much is how much psi this could hold? But is your owner um your owner's manual tell you how much psi you should have on your tires? Psi, okay. Hey, um, thanks for watching this video, y'all. Um. I hope, it, I hope um, it really helped out, okay? Motivated you to um, work on your own equipment. Other than that, um, thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye.